Welcome to Story Retold, the channel that celebrates great games with great stories. I'm Kalina, and today we are playing Nancy Drew Alibi in Ashes, her interactive's 25th mystery adventure game. Now, I've got it on disc, and when you buy the retail copy or the copy from her interactive, you got this special um, case with a flap and everything. It was really cool. It's even embossed. It's really nice. Uh, but I also happen to have uh, the physical strategy guide, which is only available at her interactive. So I may or may not use that during this gameplay. Um, it depends. I have played this game many times before, but you know, sometimes I forget exactly how things are solved. So I might refer to it. I might not. We're going to try to solve this on our own. Let's begin. Time's really scary, but don't say anything about that to my dad, okay? Right. He worries. Let's just skip Nancy's intro because if you have ever played a Nancy Drew game, um, many of the games, if not half of them, have this Nancy Drew intro scene with her at her desk. And Nancy goes over the basics on how the mystery is solved, which I expect, especially if you are a new player, this is really good information. Because as you see here on her desk, there's, um, I should just show it to you. The scrapbook that lists all the other games. And of course you've got um, links here to the Her Interactive uh, social media sites here. And I recommend the YouTube channel to stay updated as well, like on their videos and stuff. Um, but you can take a little brief glance at each of these mysteries to see which ones you've missed or have an interest in for the next time you play. And then this is really awesome here too, how to be a detective. This is pretty much the tutorial. Uh, I'm not gonna go through that today, but um, maybe the first the first instance this shows up in the Nancy Drew games, maybe I will show that. But this is today's case. The Clues Challenge. Okay, it's that time of year again. Grab your pens and strap on your thinking caps. The Clues Challenge is on the way. Teams of up to six may compete in the week-long challenge. Teams of seven or more are allowed with a five-point penalty per extra team member. Along with gaining the undying respect of town puzzlers, the finders of this year's hidden medallion will preside over the opening of the town time capsule during the Anvil Day's closing ceremony. But wait, there's more! Of course there is. The leader of the winning team will be allowed to place a personal item of his or her choosing in the next town time capsule. That's cool. Sign up soon to tackle the challenge and have the rare chance to send a message in far into the future. Is the entry form? Okay. Team Danger is us. Team Leader, Nancy Drew, that's us. Team members, Ned Nickerson, her boyfriend, and her best friends, Bess Marvin and George Fane. All right, here are the clues. I'm not going to read all of this, but let's close the case file because this is our clue that we um, picked up. This anagram from the clues challenge says I should go check out the thermostat at the old town hall. Storage room. Okay, okay. Yeah, this hole right here is the anagram, which Nancy deciphers on her own. I, we as a player don't have to worry about that. So we're going to go to the old town hall. Now, I'm going to play on junior detective this time, just uh, for speed sake. I like to play on senior because the puzzles are harder, but it'll take a little bit longer. I'm going to start with junior. Ah, looky, looky. Okay. That is the last remaining section of the Iron Nugget discovered by Ethan Mahoney that was used to create River Heights' first anvil. All right. Huh? Who's there? Uh, a culprit, maybe? Is that an ice cube? What's happening? Okay, I'm curious. Oh no, I've got to get out of here. I hurry. Is, does anybody know if that actually can happen in real life when you melt water over like just a thermostat and it could spark fire? I know when you have like exposed electrical wires that are hot, active, that um, that can be something. At least, at least the water is um, conductive. So the smoke is black. It won't open. The door is shut. We have an emergency passageway. So this is where we're at. So we need to go out, down, right. Okay, right, right, through the hall and out. Okay. How do we get out? It won't open. Think, Nancy, think. 
I'm trapped. I better hurry. The only way out is through that window. Through the window. All right, we're going to precariously perch all of these random items. Oh, the weak banker's mail, banker's box here. There's a matter of cardboard. I don't think Nancy will, in real life, would able be able to um, stand on that. And certainly not in the way I'm stacking these crates and stuff. What is this? I can't see what this is. That's a bucket. Does that count? Time yes. to get out of here. Okay. Um, I need to get out of here fast. Personally, I like to see all the instances that Nancy dies. Is that morbid? Maybe. I'm gonna play through the second chance sequences. I love it. I'm weird. It's nothing to worry about, it's just a little fire. Bad news. You know who did that? Uh, no, I missed it. I didn't read it. I didn't actually say. I've got time to get out of here. Yes, Nancy, I know. I need to get out of here fast. So stop talking and start moving. Like I'm waiting for the cursor to show up. Wrong door. Okay. I love reading these two. They're so funny. Good news, you're alive. Bad news, you're fired. Time to get out of here. I need to get out of here fast. I can't click I until hurry. she stops talking. Okay, I gotta remember not to click so fast that I actually open that door. Okay, following the path to the exit. Nancy Drew, what made you decide to burn down the old town hall? I didn't. Did you work alone? Who helped you? What do you mean work alone? I didn't do anything. Was this politically motivated? Of course not. I would never- Back off. No press until we take statements. <laughs> Please state your name for the record. Chief McGinnis from the Nancy, Nancy Drew books. Where were you when the fire broke out? That's pretty much how I imagined him, but with like more gray hair in the books. Have you guys, comment down below, have you guys read the books? And as you're seeing this video play out, do you recognize any of the places or references from the books in this game? Because this takes place in Nancy's hometown, River Heights inside the building what were you doing there? i was following a lead for the cruise challenge was there anything strange about the way the fire was burning it started really quickly what was the color of the smoke i knew this answer it's black black did you notice anything else out of the ordinary there was a snowflake shaped ice cube on the thermostat did you see anyone else at the scene before emergency crews arrived? Now, at this point, the player will not know that these are the people that um, we just saw as we exited the building. But Nancy knows. Deirdre Shannon, Alexei Markovic, Tony Scolari, and Brenda Carlton. Do you believe someone intentionally started the fire? If so, who? He has really long fingers. No. Who would do that? There you have it. A former hero and city icon rendered speechless. And speechless is the word of the day as onlookers struggle to come to terms with the brazen destruction of the beloved town hall by none other than the girl detective they had once trusted their lives and livelihoods Look, a wheel. to. Truly a sad day for River Heights. With Heights 9 News, I'm Brenda Carlton. Back to you, Jim. I still can't believe that happened. You could have been really hurt. Best. I know. It's lucky that no one else was there. Did you even see what started the fire? Yeah, it was really strange. There was this snowflake-shaped ice cube on the thermostat. Hang on. There's someone at the door. I hear Togo. Chief McGinnis? There's... My hands are tied here, Nancy. Literally. What are you talking about? Nancy Drew, you're under arrest for arson in connection with the town hall fire. I had nothing to do with that. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say or do can and will be held against you in the court of law. You have the right to speak to an attorney. Dad. My dad's an attorney. <laughs> Free to make a call. 
Okay. Let's call Dad. Carson Drew. Where is he? You've reached the personal line of Carson Drew. Please direct all business matters to the firm switchboard. Hi, it's Nancy. I'm in jail. I really could use your help right about now. Please call me as soon as you can. Wait, I don't know if I can even get phone calls in here. I guess I'll keep trying you. When you get this message, don't freak out, okay? You don't need to book the next flight home. At least, not yet. I got a note telling me to go to Town Hall, and when I got there, it just burst into flames. They think I did it. I think this might be one of those situations where I can admit that I might need a little help. I guess I better get going now. I'll try you again soon. I should call my friends. Yeah, but Nancy, you just made your one call. Are you allowed to call your friends? Well, obviously we can. Hello? George, it's Nancy. Nancy! What's going on? How are you? All right, for now. I'm not going to be able to get out of here until I can prove that I'm not the one who set the fire. We'll do anything you need to help get you out. Oh, you're the best, George. Remember that wiki we were using for the clues challenge? You mean the amazing program that I coded and uploaded onto our phones? Is that the one you're talking about? That's the one. Let's all use that to keep in touch. All case information and big clues should show up there. Good idea. There's something I need right away. Just name it. The reason I went to the town hall was because I was led there by a note. I need you guys to find that note and drop it off at the station for me. I think it might have fallen out of my pocket when I escaped the fire. Consider it done. Can you please take care of Togo until I'm out? Way ahead of you. Since your dad and Hannah are out of town, I'm watching your house. How's Togo? Pretty upset, but my mom's taking care of him back at home. Good. Thank you so much. It's nothing. We're all here for you. Anything you need. It's your turn to take the case. George, reporting for duty. Okay, so in this game we get to play as um, Nancy, Bess, George, and Ned. But we all have to go through um, phone calls to Nancy to switch to whoever. So Nancy's home base. And now we are George in Nancy's house. Um, okay, so we needed to go back to Town Hall and find that note. And oh my goodness, this map looks really small on my screen right now. Is it just me or is that stretched out a bit? Maybe it is just a little. Let me adjust that. I never noticed that. I think I have a cat. Do, 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 do. Um, windows. Let's see. All right, that doesn't really specify. All right, we'll have to roll with it for now. I just noticed that the game is a bit stretched. Okay, town hall. If I remember correctly, it's somewhere down here. Right here, here it is. You can explain this was all just a quaint misunderstanding. The bad news from the back of the police car. Nice going, George. Nice going. So we don't go in that way. Go in this way. But it's the note Nancy's looking for. There it is. Can go further? It's too high. Can I do something about that? Uh, I guess not. All right, we are returning back to the police station. Or should I say we're heading there because George hasn't been there yet. Uh, where is it? Uh, there. Right there. Oh, 
I'm just checking. Oh, no. I'll have to edit that later. Okay. Locked. Why is it locked? Alright, we'll put it in the package drop. I should call Nancy. Good idea, George. <laughs> I like her how her avatar right now is set to the River Heights police. <laughs> the note? Yes. Great. If you can put the note in the drop box at the police station, I'll pick it up and take over from there. It's your turn. I'm on the case. Listen, I'm just doing my job here, Nancy, but I don't see any need to keep you locked up. If you want to prove your innocence, I'm not going to stand in your way. This is a police station. Don't let me catch you messing with anything. Get me? Don't let me catch you. One more thing. We've got an evidence board in the station we track cases with. If any compelling evidence were to show up regarding your case, I would consider taking a look. Okay, where'd he go? All right, so we are getting like, I don't want to say VIP treatment, but we're getting special privileges because Chief McGinnis knows who I am and knows who my dad is. Um, but I'm not allowed to leave, but I am allowed to work, albeit in the station on proving my innocence. So what do we got? This is the case board. Track your case on it. You got enough to pin this on someone else? Push that button and give me a call. It would have been nice if they had focused on any other suspects. These are our suspects. Alexi, Tony, Deirdre, Brenda. All right. Um, now what? What do we got? Forensics department. Uh, something to analyze. What does that say? Oh. Let's see, let's see. We have things. That must be mine. Broken TV. Great. Okay. Um. There's no card in here. We might need to take it. DK Daughters. Okay. Oh, what's this for me? It's got my name on it. Snacks. Oh, Hannah, you always know how to cheer me up. Nancy, I'm on my way back from your Aunt Eloise's. I can't stand the thought of you being held by the police. What were they thinking to arrest you? My flight doesn't arrive until late tonight, so I'm sending you these power snacks until then. You'll need the energy to be cracking this case. Love, Hannah. Madge's nearly natural chips. Mm. Mm. More chips. Grape juice. Mm. Raging Inferno's fiery cinnamon balls. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I wonder if we can get an award mm -hmm. from eating a lot of junk food here. Mm. Well, some of it's not junk. Mm. Cocoa Kringle chocolate bar. Mm. Yes. There we go. Apple. Yum. Radio. Investigating arson. A pleasant 73 degrees downtown, 71 at the airport. Corn futures again top the news, as corn futures remain steady despite okay. news of overproduction. If accelerants are present, obtain a sample from the suspected accelerant the area. Okay. All right, good, good notes for looking at that. Fingerprint scanner, okay. I need to use the public line to make a call. Oh, I thought I was clicking on something else. I need to find the password. Maybe it's somewhere around here. Oh, you know, Nancy, you can just break in. Something you do. How do... Well, what do I do next? Is there- wait, is there a key for this someplace? Did I miss something? What's this? I need to use the public line to make oh. a call. Okay. I know it's around here somewhere. Can I look in here? Nope. Can I look at that desk? 
Honestly, I forget how we're supposed to... How's to get, how we're supposed to get in there. Um, okay, well, what does our task list say? Still have to do that. Can't check that off yet. Still have to do that. Did that. <laughs> Escape the burning building as a checklist item. Make sure you do that. That is too funny. Dedication. Uh, well, let's, uh, maybe we call our friends. So, you're calling to say you lost the evidence locker key? Some of that great police work there. I have a kit. I'd better listen in. Where'd you see it last? Pancake City. I don't recall Pancake City being part of your beat. Go find Come on. that key. I should send someone to Pancake City to find that key. Is there a lot of crime in Pancake City? Well, it's good to know you're keeping the mean streets of Pancake City free from crime. No, it doesn't make me less angry to hear you're embarrassed. Go <laughs> find that key. Flip Pancake City over if you have to, but find that key. You did not just ask me if that was a fun. Do I make puns when I'm angry? No. When I'm angry, I ask rhetorical questions and fire rookie detectives. That's funny. Flip Pancake City. Is that a pun? Uh, yes. It's a perfect pun. Um, let's call Bess. Hello? Bess, it's Nancy. Nancy, what's going on? How are you? All right for now. I'm not going to be able to get out of here until I can prove that I'm not the one who set the fire. We'll do anything you need to help get you out. I need your help finding a key. All right, what's the story? I need to get into the evidence locker. Detective Ryan lost his key. I need one of you guys to find it. Any idea where we should look? Yes, try checking out Pancake City. Sure thing. I found the police investigation board. Perfect. It looks like we're on the right track so far. They've narrowed everything down to just a few suspects. Who do they suspect? <sighs> Tony from over at Scoop. Alexi from the antique store, Brenda Carlton, and Deirdre. And, of course, me. Good. We'll keep an eye on all of them. Especially that Nancy Drew. She just sounds guilty. I need you to take over. I'm on the case. The case being at the ice cream shop. Oh, let's talk to Deirdre. Hey there. Didn't expect to see you here. I thought you'd be jailing it up with that firebug friend of yours. Shouldn't you be baking her a cake with a saw in it or something? Hi, Dee Dee. Dear Dra. I know it's got that tricky second syllable, but I figured it out by age two. Don't give up. You'll get there. I think you look like a Dee Dee. <laughs> and I think you look like you got dressed in the dark. If you want to talk to me, and let's face it, most people do, don't call me Dee Dee. That's funny. Where were you during the fire? Are you investigating me? That's so cute. You were just priceless. You are so condescending. I'm serious. Where were you? I was in America. I know that. I need you to be more specific. I was in the United States of America, present day. True story. You're not helping. If you think that I'd set the fire, then you are beyond helping. You're going to have to tell us what happened eventually. Or what? You can't make me do or say anything. I know my rights. Would you say that you hated the old town hall? You guys just don't stop, do you? I did not start the fire. Until next time. Goodbye. Well, she's not going to be very helpful. Ooh. The big map of River Heights, all labeled and everything. There's a lot of stuff on here. Um, now, if you had read the Nancy Drew books, you might recognize a lot of these places as actual places from the books. Ooh, ice cream. Chocolate shake. Looks divine. I guess I could have one more bowl. How many have you been eating, Bess? Vanilla. <laughs> and the chocolate malt. 
and all American apple pie, everything but the crust. I I like the crust. I guess I could have one more bowl. Bess can put away ice cream. Well, hey there, kid. How are you holding up? I'm okay. Sorry to hear about your friend. Never expected something like that from her. This must have been pretty rough on you. She didn't do it, really. You've got to believe me. Bess, I believe you. I believe that's what you think. We never know what someone is capable of until it's too late. She's yeah. innocent. Yeah. Really yeah. innocent. I know it. Uh, all right, all right. I, I wasn't trying to upset you, Bess, I promise. You're very protective of your friends, and that's a good thing. She's got a lot of evidence stacking up against her right now. You can't deny that. I know the case against Nancy looks pretty strong, but I consider you a friend. Maybe you could help? You're a good friend, Bess. Just make sure you're not sticking your neck out for someone who doesn't deserve your trust. Ooh. Where were you during the fire? I really shouldn't be talking about this. Okay, this off the record? Yes. I was out canvassing the area, planting signs, shaking hands, the whole thing, you know? And suddenly, I see smoke and run to check it out. When I get there, the whole town hall is lit up, just like out of Hollywood or something. Unbelievable. That's where my first job was, you know? You worked in Hollywood? That's awesome! No, I worked in that building. <laughs> that was a billion years ago. Oh, would you believe that back then I shared an office with Tommy Lindenson? He's city council upstate now. Such a cutie. Most of the good-looking ones are dumb as a big box of stupid, but not him. Hard to keep my eyes on my work when he was around. <laughs> Listen to me. You don't care about that. The fire. That's what we're talking about. Right. I called it in, and then I waited for the fire department to show up. That's the end of that. Who did you see at the fire? I saw Nancy, but you knew that. Saw Alexi, too. But you were talking to Deirdre. Do you think Alexi would have started the fire? Between you and me? That one's a walking cautionary tale. What's that mean? It's not my place to talk about it. Sorry, Bess. Can I have some ice cream? Of course! She totally looks like Tina Fey. Um, let's have coffee candy. Coffee flavored ice cream with coffee candy pieces. Yum. And a strawberry breeze. I guess I could have one more bowl. You're gonna have ice cream, Bess. It's your cover. Peanut butter chunk. Vanilla ice cream with chocolate covered peanut butter chunks. Oh my goodness. That right there makes me feel hungry. I think I might need to get some ice cream later. That is so tempting. It's been a while since I've had Dairy Queen. You guys, what are your flav favorite <laughs> fla favorite 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 um, ice cream flavors in real life that you have tasted. Coco Kringle right there. Okay, so Tony likes to talk to Bess. That's a good note to make. Um, where was I going? Pancake City, which I think is down here if I remembered from last time I played. Yes. Bess drives a yellow car. Detective Ryan. I think you said he was going to Mabel Roses? Mabel Roses. Oh, goodness. Where was that? I feel like it was up here someplace. Oh, the zoo. Let's go to the zoo! Distraction! And we said hello to the lion. Oh, there's the Drew Law offices. There's Mabel Roses right there. Detective Ryan? I think he went to the antique shop. Antique shop. Maybe stop by the Drew Law offices? Mr. Drew is not in. He'll be back as soon as he can. A little bit of an annoying voice um, character, but that's the same actress as Nancy Drew. Um, okay, where, where, what'd she say we are going? It was, um... The antique shop, which is right here. Which I just happen to know. Hmm. All right. Oh no, catch it, catch it, catch it, catch it! I wish we had that option. No. How will you be paying for the vase you broke? Um, I don't know if I can afford it. Say hi. I don't like you. You break things. I'm sorry. 
Oh, did you hear that vase? She's sorry that you made the long trek from China to Europe where you survived two world wars and countless natural disasters. Only to be unceremoniously kicked to death by some space cadet for no reason! Not that that matters now that you are dead! I'm sorry, it was an accident. I didn't... do that. Oh, well, if it was an accident, then I'm not mad. Really? I thought your generation was supposed to be good with sarcasm. Scram, kid! Give me some space to mourn! Do us both a favor and stay out! Goodness, he's not very happy at all. I'm not going to get any kind of help from him. Oh dear, oh dear. Okay, Nancy! Nancy, I messed up. Hi. So, Deirdre's gonna be about as helpful as George at picking out the latest fall fashions. <laughs> I say we throw Ned at the problem. <laughs> you might be right. I'll talk to him. You take the lead now. I'm on the case. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, okay. Ned. You're up, buddy. Ned, it's Nancy. Nancy, what's going on? How are you? All right, for now. I'm not going to be able to get out of here until I can prove that I'm not the one who set the fire. We'll do anything you need to help get you out. Ned, I'm going to need your help with something. You name it. I need you to help us out with Deirdre. How so? You know how she's always flirting with you? Oh, no, she's not. She's just nice. <laughs> right. Nice, but only ever to you. Does that sound strange? No, I'm a very pleasant person. Ned. I know you're right. It's just... it's just a little weird. It's a lot weird, but this is a desperate time situation. What do you need me to do? Pour on that trademark Nickerson charm. See what info you can pry out of her. You're sure this is okay with you? I'm not the jealous type. And also, I'm in jail and would like to what get out. What the? Those are solid points. You got it. What are you guys doing? You guys are crazy. Oh, you're not gonna knock over the computer. One Your moment. Your turn to take over. Ned, reporting for duty. Hey. The cats are restless. They obviously need somebody to play with them, and I'm doing a poor job at that with them at the moment. Uh, if only they could sit still and play Manancy Drew games with me. Wouldn't that be lovely? Oh, I happen to be right at the antique shop where I need to be. Okay, so this could be useful. Free. I'll take it. What's this? How fast can you press all the numbers in order from one? Oh, it's timed. Uh, fun fact, you guys. If you are playing this game in windowed mode, you can click out of the window to pause the game as you are looking for the numbers, which is a really good hack. All right, so one, two, three, four. Uh, there's a six, but where's a five? I don't... Okay, it's right there. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Where is eleven? Okay, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Uh, pause, okay. Uh, eighteen, nineteen. Uh, 20. Um, pause it. <laughs> 20, when, where's 21? Right here, okay. 21, and then 22 will be down there. Okay, 21, 22, 23. 24 is tiny. 25, 26. Uh, I don't know, 27, okay, 28. 29 um 
This is a little stressful. 30. There it is. Uh, okay, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. Uh, 36. Uh, where is it? I'm so blind. 37, 38, 39, 40, 41. Oh, I did it. I did it. I something. A key. What is that? What does that key go to? Trunk. A trunk key. Okay. Yo. Hello. Are you the Alexi from the old stories around here? That was a long time ago. I can't believe that's actually you. You are the original kid detective. You should advertise that. Put it on your sign or something. That's not who I am now. But it's something to be proud of. Just let it go. It's my past, not yours. Bitter? What do you think of Bess? Is she the one who broke my vase? Yeah, she thinks you hate her. I don't mm. hate her, but I do want her to think that. She should have a healthy fear of this place. I have to chase off the clumsy ones or I'll end up on the street. That's so sad. Poor Bess. Have you seen Detective Ryan? The 12-year-old cop? Yeah, he's been here. He <clears throat> left something behind. Did he leave it behind to torment me? Possibly not. Is it tormenting me? Yes, yes it is. Can't figure the blasted thing out. It's on the new arrival shelf. Did you hear about the fire? Of course. Have you met Deirdre? Don't know her. Know the family enough to know that I've got no interest in meeting her. Mm -hmm. Why's that? Her parents are dull and unimaginative. They only care about money. What are the chances that they're going to have a non-tedious, non-awful daughter? Wow. What do you know about the old town hall fire? No more than anyone else. What do you know about Tony? Well, she's on the city council, so she's either corrupt or deeply immersed in the corrupting process. Not everyone in politics is corrupt. Seriously? Where is your youthful cynicism? <laughs> yes, all politicians are corrupt. He is cynical. Why do you distrust politicians? Because they don't care about people like you and me. When they're running for office, we're just votes to buy. Once they're elected, we're just collateral damage for whatever or whomever's buying them off. Thanks. Bye. Until next time. You're a very cheery person to be around, Alexi. What is this? I need it. That looks fantastic. It looks like something that belongs in a Doctor Who show. All right, new arrivals are... Is it this? Yes. And this looks awesome, too. I think I need to buy that. There's a key under there. Okay. All right, so we're just trying to... Got it. That was easy. Hopefully this is the key that Nancy was looking for. All righty. can't do this now. Yeah, but you have the key. I need to find a way to get Alexi to leave. That will be tricky. A blast from the past. For years, the River Heights time capsule has been quietly hiding in the foundation of the historic town hall, patiently waiting to be opened. Now, with the Anvil Days Festival just around the corner, the contents of the capsule are becoming the object of much speculation. We decided to head to St. Clair Elementary to ask the students what they thought might be in the time capsule. Carlos, age 10. Maybe some Wild West things? <laughs> Jamie, age 7. I don't think a horse could be in there. Maybe a drawing. Connor, age 6. A caveman. So cute. James, age 7. 100,000 watches, but they're all out of batteries. That's random. Karen, age 8. Did they have things that long ago? I think it's probably empty. Elizabeth, age 9. It must not be important stuff if people didn't think they needed it. Hillary, age 12. Doesn't that face look familiar? Some old documents, maybe even the town constitution or original town plans. Nice. All right, let's get this off to Nancy. Wait. There is the news van. Hello. Yo. Hello. Will you help us let the town know that Nancy's innocent? I'm not fully convinced that's true. Plus, that's not how things work. But she is innocent. Then why is she in jail? Because she's been framed. 
<laughs> I've been working the crime beat here for a while, so I can safely say that people claim they've been framed all of the time. So far, not one has been able to prove it. That's why we need your help. I do the news, not charity. Plus, this is a good story. A heroine falls from grace, a once grateful town turns its back. The final clue is found. Listen to how good that is. I don't even have to try to make the story interesting. Aren't you worried about seeing justice done? No, I'm a reporter. If people cared about seeing justice done, I'd report on it. But they don't, so I don't. Can you tell me what happened at the fire? Are you asking me for my statement? Yes. I already gave that to the police. I'd just like to hear it from you. We're asking everyone. Oh, good luck with that. Now, let's get to brass tacks. What's the real story with Nancy Drew? She's not guilty. It's not up to me to decide innocence or guilt. It's up to the public. Actually, it's up to the courts. Officially, that's true. But the court of public opinion makes its verdict before the actual courts can even schedule a hearing. Guess which one matters more? Were you writing a story about the fire? Writing? Yes, I was writing a story and broadcasting and webcasting and macro and micro blogging. I own this story. Are you going to continue reporting on the fire? If I didn't, I wouldn't be doing my job. The fire is the biggest thing to happen here since old man Crowley's will was found. Oh, Good. funny. I need your help. I need to know everything you know. In my line of work, you have to work for the answers. If you want to talk to me, you're going to have to give me some good info about Nancy. I don't like the sound of that. As my dad always used to say, What are you gonna do? Cry about it? You ready to do this or what? So Old Man Crowley's Will was, um, is a reference to the very first Nancy Drew book, uh, Secret of the Old Clock, which is also a Nancy Drew game, which is when Nancy gets to go back in time to the 1930s and solve her first mystery, which is actually our 12th in the um, series to play. Sure. All right, do your worst. Who would want to see the old town hall burn down? Don't know, don't care. Has Nancy always been interested in starting fires, or is that a recent development? Actually, you didn't answer my question. So, you're reluctant to say. Probably not a recent thing, then. Tell me about Nancy's dark side. What are you talking about? I'm talking about Nancy. <laughs> okay, my turn. Wait, you didn't let me ask a question. Yes, I did. You asked me what I was talking about, and I said Nancy. Speaking of Nancy, is it true that she's been known to skirt the law when she's on a case? No. So then she just flagrantly breaks the law. Good to know. Stop. That's not what I said. I don't want to be interviewed. I just need to find out what's going on with Nancy. Okay, all right. I'll put the kid gloves back on. Everyone in this town is so shy. I'd kill for a little verbal sparring now and again. You gotta be primed and ready for the big time. And I get nothing here. So you're looking to move on in your career? Yep. Believe it or not, this backwater burg doesn't cut it for me. You didn't treat us fairly in the articles you wrote. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I change what you said? No, you took what was said out of context. It seemed that way, but trust me, it's not what happened. It's common for subjects to be nervous and forget what they've said. You can't blame me for that. You'll get better. Anytime you want to practice, let me know. We could talk about Nancy. Wow. No thanks. You're so manipulative. Have you turned up anything on Tony? I'd love to. That's the only thing that can make this story better. What do you mean? Tragedy? Government cover-up? Now that's a national story. I would kill for Tony to be wrapped up in this. Really? Do you think Tony might actually be behind the fire? My sense tells me no. But my ratings say please, please let it be her. Why? She looks all upstanding, but she's on the take. I mean, she just has to be. Oh? What do you know about Tony and the fire? I've got it on good authority that she was putting the squeeze on the police to take someone into custody. Hmm. Didn't seem to care who took the fall, as long as it happened fast. Did she push for Nancy to be arrested? Doubt she even gave it that much thought. She wanted the fire off her list and in yesterday's headlines on the double. What do you think of Nancy? On the record or off the record? Just honestly. So off the record then. I think she's in big trouble and way, way out of her depth. And on the record? Well, gosh, she's just another example of what makes this town so special. Ugh, she's quite a character to be around. Thanks, bye. Drop by if you've got any hot tips. 
Mmm. I cannot trust her. It was in the Crime Weekly. Alright, so we need to take this key back to the police department. Which I forget is... Okay, there. There we go. Ned drives a black sedan. That'll be hot in the summertime. Okay, um... This one. And now we call Nancy and let her know I got you with key. Hey, Jailbird. What's up? I'm turning the case over to you. Nancy Drew taking over. Great. Um. 20. 205. Okay. 205. Looks like I need a key. No, you don't say. What is this nonsense? You have a key and then you have more locked boxes in here? Computer password. Each row and column must have one number and only one selected. Can't use same number twice. Okay. I better find a way to listen to this. Oh boy. The uh, questioning. Eight gigabytes. Kylobyte. My goodness, that's a huge memory card. Okay, how this works. Uh, this is how this puzzle works. Great. I know how it works. All right, my phone. Nice. It looks like an android. They confiscated a dog biscuit. Her keys. And her lock picking kit. Okay, that does look suspicious. Okay, um... Okay, that's a good thing. We're pretty much just playing around with this until we get green, right? Oh, we need to light up each of these, though, too. Okay, there we go. That works. That doesn't. That doesn't. Oh, I'm just ruining it now. How do we get... Oh, okay, so yeah, that's right. The dots mean yeah oh i'm so close oh there we go i'd better see what evidence the police have okay this is the call Tony made the call to dispatch. Hmm, it looks like the alarm wasn't working at the time of the fire. I need to find out why. Who would know about the town hall fire system? Or the um, alarm system? find okay interesting that's me nancy blue eyes tish and hair five seven female bail two hundred fifty thousand. Oh boy they seized gasoline i need to find out what was really used to start the fire all right so we need to find out what the accelerant was at the scene of the crime great Okay, um, we have the media player now. We can listen to that. Please state your name for the record. Nancy Drew. Where were you when the fire broke out? Inside the building. What were you doing there? I was following a lead for the clues challenge. Was there anything strange about the way the fire was burning? It started really quickly. What was the color of the smoke? Black. Did you notice anything else out of the ordinary? There was a snowflake-shaped ice cube on the thermostat. Did you see anyone else at the scene before emergency crews arrived? Deirdre Shannon, Alexei Markovic, Tony Scolari, and Brenda Carlton. Do you believe someone intentionally started the fire? 
If so, who? No. Who would do that? All right, let's listen to Deirdre. Get your name for the record. Deirdre Shannon. Where were you during the fire? On the side lawn. What were you doing in the area at that time? I was out jogging. Did you notice anything strange about the way the fire was burning? The strangest part was that the building was on fire. What color smoke did you see? I don't know. Smoke colored smoke? Did you notice anything else out of the ordinary? Yes. It took a very long time for the fire department to arrive. Do you really want to start down that path with me, Shannon? Because I don't think you do. Did you see anyone else at the scene before emergency crews arrived? No, I don't think I did. Do you believe someone intentionally started the fire? If so, who? I thought you had that part all figured out. And Tony? Please state your name for the record. <laughs> Antonia Scolari. Where were you when the fire broke out? On the side lawn. What were you doing there? Canvassing the area. It's election season, which reminds me. Let's chat when you're done here. What was the color of the smoke? Is this a thing I need to know? Couldn't really tell. I can tell you that it did not smell great. Did you notice anything else out of the ordinary? For an old abandoned town hall, there sure seemed to be a lot of folks hanging around. Did you see anyone else at the scene before emergency crews arrived? Yes. Brenda Carlton, Nancy Drew, Alexi too. And it's not the first time I've seen him creeping around that area. Did you believe someone intentionally started the fire? If so, who? Whoever it was is going to pay. I'll see to it personally. Mm. State your name for the Brenda. record. Brenda Carlton, Heights 9 reporter. Where were you when the fire broke out? I was working that beat, so I was in the neighborhood. What were you doing there? Working. I already said that. Was there anything strange about the way the fire was burning? I've covered a lot of fires, and they all look different. I wish I could tell you more. The main takeaway here is that, thankfully, no one was inside at the time. What was the color of the smoke? That, I know. It was a nice, thick, almost supple gray. gray. It really popped nicely with the light setup I was using. Usually you see thin black strands that are hard to pick up on camera. This was nice. Really looked sharp. Did you notice anything else out of the ordinary? Yes. Nancy Drew exited the building while it was burning. Did you see anyone else at the scene before emergency crews arrived? Yes, Nancy, of course. The Shannon girl was there. Councilwoman Scolari and Alexi, the owner of the antique store, were there as well. Do you believe someone intentionally started the fire? Who? In my line of work, we're not allowed to jump to conclusions. But when Nancy Drew strolls out of a burning building looking guilty, I'd say you've got your answer right there. If you say, uh, she said that Tony was the one putting pressure on the cops to make an arrest. In this interview, uh, Brenda was the one who was really hinting at Nancy. Plus, so far she's the only one who mentioned the color of the smoke, which was wrong. State your name for the record. Alexei Markovic. Where were you when the fire broke out? I was out for a walk in the area. What made you go for a walk? It was a nice night. Do I need any more of a reason? Was there anything strange about the way the fire was burning? Well, the whole thing was strange. That fire shouldn't have taken hold. The sprinkler system should have kicked in and doused it. What color smoke did you see? Black. Did you notice anything else out of the ordinary? Such as what? The entire vent was strange by nature. Who else did you see at the fire? He sounds tired. I saw some people. I don't know. There was a lot going on. It was hard to focus. Do you have reason to believe that someone would have started the fire on purpose? Absolutely not. That building is the heart of this town. There isn't one person in this town cruel or reckless enough to destroy it. Hmm. All right, we listened to all of them. Now let's call Dad. And maybe he will know about um, how to get in contact with people about the security system. Nancy, I just got your message. Are you okay? I'm in jail, so things could be better. Still? Still. They're blaming me for the fire at Town Hall. That doesn't make any sense. Why would they think you'd have anything to do with something like that? Are they treating you okay? Well, so far. 
I'm dropping everything and I'm coming home. Hang tight. I'll be there as soon as I can. Dad, you don't need to rush home all the way from Australia. I can Whoa. take care of this myself. I just need a little help. Nancy, I've always thought you were very responsible, but this is not something you should try to take on yourself. I certainly won't turn down help. That's my girl. I've got a lot of favors to call in, so even though I'm far away right now, I'll be able to help. Right now, I'm going to see if I can't get you out of jail. I'm going to make some calls. Keep me updated. Will do. Chief McGinnis, let me out of the holding cell. That's great news. But I can't go home until I find more conclusive proof that it wasn't me who set the fire. It's a good start. I'm going to keep working to get you out. And I'm going to keep working on the case. Nancy, I know I don't have to remind you of this, but be careful. You could land in some serious hot water if you impede the investigation in any way. I'll be careful. I promise. I need to go. Talk to you soon. I'll see you soon. Okay, so dad can't. Oops, no, that's not what I meant. Hello? I, it, uh. I need to go. Talk to you soon. Take care. I thought that was the back button. The, it's a backwards play button. Um, let's see. Um, let's send George to investigate the alarm system, if possible. Hello. I need a sample from Town Hall to test for possible accelerants. Okay, how do I do that? You'll need to find a clean, all-glass container with a lid. It needs to be small enough to fit in the chromatograph. You're on your own for that, but I bet you can find it if you look oh. around. Alright, check. Then, as for the sample... Try to get a sample as close to the point of origin as possible. Point of origin? Where the fire started. It was right near the thermostat. We'll get it for you, don't worry. The case report says that the town hall alarm was tampered with. Can you check it out? You got it. Wait a minute. Goodbye. Bye. I'm not going to have her take over because Ned is the one who's got the uh, little capsule case that he got from the antique shop. Ned. What's up? I need you to take over. Ned, reporting for duty. All right, back to the town hall, once again, as Ned with containers for collecting clues. I can't get up there, it's too high. Oh, jump, Ned, you're a football player. There you go, that works. <laughs> wow, Nancy Ooh. was lucky to make it out unsinged. Oh, the anvil is gone. The alarm has been turned off. I'd better tell Nancy. Yeah, see, it's activate is right here, and this is deactivate. You can see the key is is turned, or the key is turned to that uh, direction. I bet the point of origin is somewhere in this room. Looks like the fire started here. Better take a sample. I've got the tube. Got it. Great. Oh. Can't go that way. Why did I rope off this when it's roped off in the front, too? I do not know. Let's send Ned back to... Wait, there wasn't anything else I missed. Okay. Let's send Ned back to the station. Drop off that sample. Where is the station? Right there. These look like one-way streets. But that could be just an artistic approach. Alright, Nancy, here you go. Hello? The fire alarm at Town Hall had been switched off. My dad knows the people who run the city alarm systems. I'm going to see if they can give us a little more information. You should take over. Nancy Drew, taking over. Uh, let's call Dad. Maybe he can talk to him now. Nancy, I'm so glad you called. I just found out something big about the alarm system. I think I need your help. I'm at your 
your disposal. What do you need? I think that the alarm was disabled at the Old Town Hall. I need you to look into it. Now that is a big break. I think I may know just the person to talk to about that. Give me a call back in a few minutes. Alright, in the meantime we are going to run the test. I don't know what I'm all doing. But we'll do it anyways. Oh wait, I don't even have it. It's uh, still in the drop box. Silly me. Let's pick that up. That will be handy. Where is it? Forensics department's in here. Have any of you guys actually run fun tests like this? Oh my goodness. These printers, I forget what they're called. I need to figure out which accelerant matches these figures. Well, I have no idea how about to do that. Need to find an accelerant. Okay. Actually, you know what? This is a great time, you guys, for me to um, for me to take a break and uh, check out the next video as we continue solving Nancy Drew at Alibi in Ashes and trying to get Nancy out of jail. That's our next goal. See you next time.